Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the Midjourney updates for June. There's a lot of exciting news to cover, so let's get started. First up, Midjourney officially launched its much anticipated model personalization feature. If you haven't tried model personalization yet, try it. It basically gives you access to your own Midjourney model that is customized based on your individual aesthetic preferences. To get started, you'll need to rank at least 200 images on Midjourney's website. You can also like images on the Explore page to help teach Midjourney your preferred aesthetics, but ranking images is required. Once you've ranked enough images, add dash dash p to your prompt and Midjourney will create images tailored to your personal visual aesthetics. Most users prefer using their personalized model. I know I do, but I also switch back and forth depending on what I'm trying to make. The Midjourney team is working on fine tuning this feature. So if you think your personalized model looks trash, I recommend contacting them so that they can check the data behind your profile. You can also use multiple personalization codes in a prompt. So if you wanna see how yours looks with a friend's, just add both of your personalization codes after dash dash P. If you are a style reference enthusiast like me, know that you can now combine multiple SREF codes in a single prompt. Previously, we were able to use multiple image URLs as style references, but only recently did it become possible to use multiple SREF codes. You can also use double colon notation to add relative weights to each SREF code. I've really enjoyed seeing how contrasting styles interact when they're combined. The SREF rabbit hole has been deep for me, and if you're looking for SREF codes to try out, I've been sharing some of my favorites in recent videos and downloadable guides, so be sure to check those out. In terms of upcoming releases, version 6.5 is currently in training, and if everything goes okay, it should be out in the next few weeks. We can expect improved image quality, coherence, better hands and skin textures, and possibly an updated image upscaler. V7 is also in the works. The V7 model should be smarter, faster, cheaper, and have image quality and aesthetic improvements. The team is also making steady progress on 3D and video. They are taking their time with this to ensure quality, so there's no release date yet. Midjourney has started a new research project exploring the connection between demographics and aesthetics. There's a survey that you can fill out if you wanna participate. I'll leave a link to it below. They've also opened up orders for a Midjourney Year One book that showcases the community's explorations and Midjourney's development over the past year. You can order your copy at mag.midjourney.com where you can also find past issues of the Midjourney magazine. All right, let's talk about the website. Midjourney started allowing image creation through their website several months ago and they've been gradually opening it up to more users. I think right now anyone who has made more than 100 images has access to the web creation. The team has been working on improving user experience, especially for newcomers. There have been a few changes to the interface such as merging the pan and zoom features into a unified reframe tool. Very region is now called repaint, error messages are more descriptive, and they've added a dedicated help page with a chatbot. And rooms are now visible to anyone with an account. If you want to create in a group space on the website, this is where you go. There are public rooms or you can create a private room. They are also slowly allowing non-Discord users into the website, which means that soon a Discord account will not be required to use Midjourney. That wraps up this month's updates. This is my first time trying this type of video format, so if you enjoyed it or you learned something new, please give it a like. And before you go, I want to announce that I'm considering starting a Patreon as a way to support this channel, build community, and provide even more Midjourney content. If that sounds interesting to you, there's a link to a poll down in the pinned comment. Let me know what extra content you would find most valuable. And if you want to become an expert at prompting with Midjourney, check out some of my other videos and guides. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.